We're, we are trying to locate a water leak on this roof, on these shingles, on this particular shingle. I don't know if you're able to tell it, but this is drier up here. Over here, this is wet in this area. And we were two shingles below it. We saw a couple nails that were rusted. And we're going to go ahead and continue uphill. Water travels the least path of resistance. And typically, unless it's capillary action, the water's going to be flowing downhill until it gets a blockage or there's a penetration. So we're gonna continue looking. We're gonna remove a few shingles. We'll be back in a moment. As we're removing the upward shingles, it's pretty hot outside, so we've located moisture under two shingles. We're checking this third shingle to see if we find moisture up in here. One is visual, the other is uh, with our hands in there, feeling it before it evaporates in the heat that we have because it's pretty hot out here today. And we're not feeling any moisture, not finding any moisture at this point. I think we've determined where the leak is. We'll get back to you in just a minute. Okay, we just removed the nails from this shingle right here. You can see right here, we removed the nails from there. I lifted up higher. Martin's got one more that he's got. So there's the nail holes right there. As we lift this, you see the back side of the shingle right here. If I can get the right lighting, there we go. So the nails are right here. And they went through, and here's a, right here on top of this other shingle, is where, right there, is where the nails, six nails went across the shingle. Now we're looking for moisture. We can see, we can see moisture right there. Moisture coming across here. So we'll get back to you in a minute. We're gonna investigate this a little bit further. We're going to remove this shingle right here. We're taking this one out. Underneath there we have a lot of moisture. Here, here we go. If you can see underneath right here on the black, on our synthetic underlayment, you can see some moisture there. Martin, will you pull that back? You can see the condensation in here. And so we're gonna to continue to look for the source of the leak. Okay, so here's what we've found. Let me show you. I'm gonna come in a little bit closer for you. If you look at this plastic cap, you can see the head of that plastic cap, that nail is, it has some rust on it. We're gonna go over here. This one has some rust on it. This one has no rust on it. Now, what I've done also is we have lifted up. Now, as I lift the upper course of shingles and I'm underneath of the shingle, you know, I'm looking at this plastic cap, it's the same way. That one is a mill finish on it, so no rust on it. So we've isolated the leak that came in from this area. There was one nail in this area that was only about an eighth inch high and it was under driven right in this area at one nail and that's where we believe the leak is coming from. A roof repair can be a trial and error process. We believe we have determined exactly where the leak was, the water was coming in at around a nail that was under driven. And so we're gonna go ahead and put everything back together. There, there you have it. All right, you can see we have the majority of the shingles around the skylight removed. Uh, we just gotta go ahead and pull some of those nails off, clean it up and you know, redo some of the stuff. But I wanted to show you guys, if you, if you come closer, you look at these nails right here, you'll see rust starting to form on the top already. Now, there should be absolutely no reason why they should have rust. They should all look like these nails right here. But because they're showing rust, I know water was getting behind here and leaking through these nails. I mean, it's, it's very likely that's, that's where the leak is coming from. It's just these nails are allowing water inside underneath the flashing and it's, it's causing a drip.